Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a way in which you can upload the SCORM packages that you created using Hot Potatoes and make them available to your students. So what you first need to do is to open your browser and go to SCORM.com. It's, it's uh, www.SCORM.com. Okay, once you get there, you will have to create an account for you to upload your SCORM packages. We just have to wait for a couple of seconds before the page loads. Okay, see, this is what you will see once you go to SCORM.com and see this link, SCORM Anywhere, I have SCORM Cloud. So we're going to access this. Okay, see that you have a try it free button. So if you click there, you will be able to create a free account. So you will be prompted to, com uh, to complete a sign in form, the traditional sign in form for you to create a, a user on any website. So your email, password, first name, last name, and stuff. See the, the you have several options. Of course, uh, for most of them you have to pay, but there's a free one. Uh, it gives you up to 100 megabyte storage limit and 10 active registrations. So well, you have to agree to the terms and, and submit and well, create a password that complies with their requirements. In my case, I already created an account, so I'm going to sign in to my account. Okay, in this case, my user name is my email account. Okay, once you created your account and sign in, this is what you will see in your account. And you have this green button on the right, that's for you to add your SCORM packages. So I'm going to add the, the SCORM package that I created when I gave you the workshop on hot potatoes. So I'm going to import package. Okay, this is just like attaching a file to an email. So you just have to look for where your file is currently saved. Okay, here's my SCORM package. I'm going to upload it, so I click on Import Course. Okay, it's been uploaded. So, see I have a launch button, so I'm going to see if it works as intended. So, see this is what I created when I gave you the workshop. Okay, notice that when I go to library, I will be able to see all the SCORM packages I have uploaded. In this case, this one was named Organization. And you have this icon that looks like an envelope. It says invite learners to take this course. So if you click there, you will be able to share it with your students. Okay, I can go right away and click here and create an invitation. So I need to wait for a couple of seconds for the invitation to be created. Okay, and you see that this URL is created for you to share it with your students. 
So you could email it as it is if you're working on, on a social networking site like Facebook, you could just uh, post it there. Or as I have uh, shown you, you could uh, post this on Google URL shortener and, and get a shorter version of the URL for you to share it with your students so they can access it on their devices easily. So I'm going to open a new tab and paste this URL for you to see what it looks like. Okay, so in order for students to uh, do the activity you created, they need to enter their email, first name, and last name for the system to collect their information and for you to see if they really did the activity and they're great. I'm going to do it with my own information. Okay, click on take on take me to my training. Okay, there you have the all the activities I created with my uh, SCORM package. So students take the activity, submit their answers. The answers are collected by SCORM.com. Later, you can check your students' progress uh, while doing this activity. So I hope this uh, helps you while sharing your SCORM packages with your students.